do not equal my credits by $30.2 million. That's three years' worth of your operating budget. Sparks were flying late into the night, and with a vote of no confidence in the city attorney, there are many lingering questions about what's next for Alpine. People can be terminated for not doing their job. It's that simple. So tonight, we have an issue of someone not doing his job. What have you done since your review? Don't just interrupt me. With three yeas and one nay, the vote of no confidence passed, asking for city attorney John Armstrong's voluntary resignation. I'm not saying that he's doing anything wrong, but I don't think that he's working for me or for the city. Newest council member Michael Costelli led the charge, citing dishonesty. Instances of the attorney allegedly changing rules or opinions to his or the benefit of certain people. Legal advice needs to be consistent. I couldn't be any more clear than that. What's your response to those allegations? He's lying. The tone of the meeting changed after Costelli singled out Armstrong, questioning why he allows the interim city finance director and former city manager to live with him. You know, for me to do something nice and kind and to be treated in that fashion, my goodness. What a, what a terrible thing. Interim Finance Director Deborah Pattison spoke out in his defense, dropping a bombshell about the city's finances. Because I'm a good finance officer, and I don't have books that are $30.2 million off. But currently, I'm sitting in a chair where I do. And it's abominable. And I'm not going to go down with a sinking ship. Armstrong then spoke of the ongoing felony investigation into former Finance Director Ricky Chavez. What has been uncovered shows massive and systemic uh, ineptness, incompetence, and uh, uh, you know, possible defalcation. Armstrong says he will not resign. With an eye on Alpine, Matt Rist, CBS 7 News.